Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Hope y'all are having a great day. And did I already film this entire video last week only to find out that I had accidentally hit the mute button on the microphone and there was no sound? Yes. Mango citrus agua fresca in the Florence Foodies Cup. And that must mean Ah, that we are back at SC Real Foods this morning. And we are. We're actually from two places this morning. But there's a reason why. And if you saw the thumbnail and the title, obviously you know what that is. But we need to talk about it. So as far as Florence goes, breakfast, there's quite a few options. There's classics like Basin's. There's um, the franchises like Waffle House and Huddle House. There is Venus Pancake House. Of course, you've got another franchise in IHOP. Long Grain Cafe does a good breakfast. There's a handful of places, all right? So if I'm forgetting anybody, it's not supposed to be an exhaustive list. I'm just saying that we have a variety of breakfast options and some have different strengths. Victor's offers a breakfast in the morning that's pretty good. The buffet style breakfast that you would have seen in this video if you watched that one where we showcased Victor's in downtown Florence. And I will say that I'm not going to say that SC Real Foods breakfast is all encompassing. There are some things that if you're looking for, you may need to take the recommendation to go somewhere else. But I am gonna say pound for pound, this is the best breakfast in Florence. Best breakfast in Florence. So you can see their breakfast hours on the screen there. And let me tell you what we got today. We got their big breakfast bowl. So for $13, their big breakfast bowl comes with scrambled eggs, potatoes, sausage or bacon, their grits, which we're gonna talk about here in a moment. And then you can get either an English muffin or toast, which I got white toast today. And then you can get their homemade grape jelly, which we talked about in the video where we showcased SC Real Foods. You would think, I mean, how good can grape jelly be? It's homemade, that's cool, but can it really be that much of a difference? No, I'm telling you, this stuff is awesome. It really is. I don't even know why it just is really good. So obviously, you know, superior ingredients, homemade with love, it makes a difference. That's the big bowl. The regular, the regular breakfast bowl is uh, $10, so $3 less. The difference is you can get grits or potatoes and two eggs instead of three eggs. This is three scrambled eggs here. The regular breakfast bowl is only two. Now, here's a little pro tip from your local Florence foodie, all right? I'm a biscuit guy. I'm from the South, I'm from South Carolina and Matt Mitchell, ranked the Bojangles biscuit as the best biscuit in the game. And you know what, if Matt said it, there's a good chance that it's probably right. But I didn't need Matt to tell me that to know that Bojangles has an awesome biscuit. SE Real Foods has no biscuit. So what you do is you go to Bojangles right next door. They're on Celebration Boulevard in Palmetto. And you grab you couple biscuits for a couple dollars. Let me put this on here. So take the jelly, apply the jelly to the biscuit, okay? You don't have to do this. If you would rather have cheese or just nothing at all, just egg and sausage or bacon, then that would be totally acceptable. You wouldn't get any argument out of me for that. But for me, I'm gonna put the jelly on there. I just think it's a nice addition. Add your eggs, all right, with your clean hands, and boom. That is how that's done. Now, who can tell me what are the three criteria that establish a restaurant or basically determine how good a restaurant is? It's get your grits in there. Don't need all of them. Quality of ingredients, recipes, and consistency. And different restaurants may do well at one or two of the other, but what you really wanna find is a restaurant that excels at all three phases of the game. It's kind of like football in that you have offense, defense, and special teams. And so to be really good at one, but to stink at the other, or to be really good at two, is a problem, it's problematic. What you really like to do is excel at all three phases of the game. So it is food quality, recipes, and uh, execution consistency. Now I said that to say, what are the things that make this breakfast at SC Real Food so good? For one, this sausage is by far, and I mean by far, the best sausage that um, I've had. It is. So it might seem like a 
a small thing, but it's, it's really not. I mean, think about it. It's one of the key components of the breakfast, and it's lights out. It really is. I mean, the difference in this sausage patty and, like, the patty at the, the, on the biscuit at McDonald's is, like, night and day. So that's a food quality thing. Another element that we talked about, the recipes. And, man, these grits, I'll show them to you on your screen there where you can see what I'm talking about. But these grits are fantastic. Now, I, again, growing up in the South, growing up in South Carolina specifically, I'm a grits guy. Some people like their grits more textured with, like, that stone ground texture. They don't like creamy grits. There are people that do not like creamy grits. But there are people that swear by creamy grits. Me personally, I can appreciate both. These are obviously, as you can see, creamy grits, but man, they are excellent. They really are. They're fantastic. I would say one knock. Of course, SC Real Foods doesn't have a drive-thru. And I get where that could be an inconvenience to some people, especially in the morning. Now, they do have online ordering, or you could go delivery if you if you want to go that route. But there are convenience options. But here's what I noticed. I go over to Bojangles to get the biscuit after I get my food from Essie Real Foods. And so, in a twist of irony, due to the drive through line, I find myself parking and going inside the Bojangles. There's a crowd of guys that go into the Bojangles and have coffee and breakfast and conversation, which is cool. That's a nice little fellowship routine right there. I like that. But I thought to myself, what a shame that there's a far superior product, comparably priced, pretty much. I mean, the difference maybe in a few dollars depending on what they're ordering. And look, they've got seating and they've got coffee right next door at SC Real Foods too. And these guys may not even realize that there is a far superior product to what Bojangles is offering other than this biscuit right next door at SC Real Foods. So if you're part of that crowd, or if you know somebody that's part of that weekday morning Bojangles crowd, please do them a favor and refer them next door. They are missing out, and it's a tragedy. I mean, it's like 45 feet across the street from where they are. They could be getting this instead of that. And not to knock Bojangles. I think Bojangles is one of the best um, breakfast options in the fast food game. In fact, in Florence, I would say Bojangles is the most complete and best fast food breakfast option that we have but at the end of the day Bojangles is a fast food restaurant they can't they can't compete with this kind of quality and service these grits are fantastic man I'm telling you I'm telling you now real quick if you'll notice I do have on a Lenore Sellers jersey the reason why is I just want to remind you guys that we are giving away an officially licensed from the Adams University bookstore Lenore Sellers jersey to one participant that will be randomly drawn. All you have to do to enter that drawing is go watch this video, like and comment, go Gamecocks down in the comments. That will enter you for that drawing, which is going to take place on September the 14th, the day of our conference home opener against LSU, who just lost this weekend to the other USC. So hopefully we can make them 0-2 against USC's this year. So let me know what y'all think. For me personally, I have SC Real Foods carrying the crown, pound for pound, the best breakfast in Florence. But let me know what y'all's favorite breakfast spot is, whether you're in Florence or somewhere else, and what makes them special and unique. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention, I got some footage while I was in there. While the drive through not having a drive through some may see as an inconvenience, they do these um, pre prep meals. That actually is one of their bigger products. That's something that people frequently take advantage of because these pre-prepared meals are really good. And so I've got some footage of that right there on the screen. So what you can do is go in, order your breakfast, and go ahead and pick your lunch up or your dinner, you know, for when you get off that night at home, especially if you've got children. Just quick and easy things. Convenience is important in a lot of our lives because things are moving so fast and there's so many responsibilities and moving parts, it seems. And so on the flip side of that, convenience conversation that's something that you might find extremely convenient and like i said those are really good because a lot of times if you pick something like that up out of like a grocery store they're not that great but those are really good if you haven't been to sc real foods for breakfast go and check them out again i can't imagine you're gonna be disappointed with that i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like i think we got some really exciting and fun stuff coming up in the future planned at least for this channel so if y'all are enjoying it, make sure that you're liking and subscribe to the channel and sharing. That helps us out a lot to continue to produce content like this to put out there. I actually had not one, but two mechanical failings last week that were my fault. 
completely my fault. Uh, it was a very busy week, and I just blew it on that. So later this week, God willing, we're going to go and redo another video that was lost last week that I'm really looking forward to that I think y'all like a whole lot too. So again, make sure you're subscribed to the channel to stay in tune for that in future videos. But in the meantime, y'all take care, and we will see you on the next video.